Hey, what's up, nation? So I just got back from the gym. I actually trained back and biceps today. I'm feeling pretty good, filling out this reverse flash shirt pretty good, don't you think? Definitely seeing some, some growth in my biceps. I've been seeing growth in my back. I've been seeing a little bit of growth all throughout my body, as you guys saw in my, my Truth About My Gains video. Uh, and I have to, I owe it all to doing my cheat and recover reps because I'm really focusing on overloading my muscles. And uh, I'm going to get into that. A lot of you guys have been asking me specific questions about why it works so much. And so I've been putting together a video that's going to go a bit more over the science behind why it works and why overloading works. So keep an eye out for that. But for this video, I just want to talk to you guys about, you know, I'm putting together a full program for you guys utilizing my cheat and re recover rep method. And... I really want to make sure that it works, the exercises that I'm going to put in the program work well. You know, for example, like today, um, I tag team biceps and back, obviously hitting back as hard as I could and then working the biceps after because it's very synergistic. My biceps, by the time I get to my first bicep exercise, because I'm overloading so much on the back movements, the bicep exercises are like 10 times harder, which is a good thing because that means that you're really, you know, f fatiguing the muscle, which is what you want to do. You want to overload it as much as possible. And at the end of the day, too, you can even actually do less exercises for the biceps after, maybe just like two, two, you know, one to two, maybe three max, and get an amazing bicep workout because they're already so destroyed. So, anyways, so one of the exercises I did today, the first exercise I did was a bent over row. And then today I decided that for the second movement, I was going to do a seated cable row and I was going to do my hands really close together like this. My focus was I just did the barbell bent over row with an underhand grip, so I wanted to make sure that I, which is going to help you target your, your lats a lot more. And I wanted to do an exercise for my second mover, which is going to really target like the thickness of the back and really start hitting more of the middle of the back, bringing a bit more like mid and upper traps into it as well. So... I wanted to do that exercise and as you guys know whenever you do like a T-bar row or a seated row with the the hand or with the hands really close together you're always going to be the strongest in that position and so I was doing the whole stack and <laughs> so I had Erica videotape me and I'll show you guys the video right now so as you guys can see from the video you know the setup is I have my wrist wraps on um, to make sure that I can hold on to that as, as best I can. I didn't want to worry about forearm fatigue or grip fatigue or anything like that. But as you guys can see, I'm using momentum to really kind of throw the weight back and I'm fighting the negative as hard as I can on the way down. So using momentum, throwing myself backwards, pulling that to my stomach as best I can, and then really flexing my back and trying to fight that negative and really overload my lats as much as possible. And as you guys know, you know, I'm a huge form Nazi, so to probably see me do this, it looks, you know, really weird to a lot of you guys who don't know that I'm doing cheat and recover workouts. And so while I was doing those cheat reps, <laughs> I had a buddy that I had recently met in the gym. He's actually, he's pretty jacked. You can't see him in this video. But he was doing like an exercise and he did like a look over and kind of looked at me like, what the hell is this kid doing? But, you know, and then he didn't see me do the recover set. And obviously with the recover set, as you guys can see, I'm utilizing proper form, really focusing on engaging my lats throughout the entire movement, keeping myself upright the entire time and really focusing on proper form. And that's the whole point of doing cheat and recover guys. The whole point of this is utilizing momentum. Obviously on an exercise like this, you really can't get somebody in there to spot you, but utilizing momentum to, to get yourself into the starting position to do the eccentric portion of the movement, because you're about 40% stronger in the eccentric. So you're gonna have to use some help from a spotter or momentum to get yourself to that position because you're not gonna be able to get there on your own doing proper form and then fighting the negative every time. And what this is also gonna do, aside from overloading the muscle, is it's gonna pre-exhaust your muscle so that by the time you get to the recover set, you're able to basically have perfect form on the concentric phase of the movement and the eccentric phase and because your muscles are pre-exhausted, it's going to make that concentric phase even more intense. And for those of you who have been trying it, I've been seeing a lot of your comments and you're saying how well it's been working. Some of you guys have already been doing it for about a month and you've seen massive transformations already in your bodies. And that is absolutely amazing. I love that. But I posted that video on Facebook and Instagram just to kind of 
talk because I was gonna do a, a Facebook live session of the bicep portion of the workout, which the internet in the gym sucked and it, and it kind of messed up the live feed. And when I finally got it going, Facebook decided to delete it after I had already posted it, which is why it's not there if you're looking for it. But anyways, so I posted on Facebook and Instagram and even during the live feed, people were like, you're doing it wrong or why are you doing that? Or you're gonna snap your biceps. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do that. And at the end of the day, guys, Especially with movements for, for back or biceps where, you know, it is possible to obviously have a bicep tendon tear. You don't want to have that happen. And it is possible to injure yourself doing the cheat and recover workouts. These workouts are for, be for beginners, obviously. And you need to build up the strength, the, like the base strength, strengthen your tendons, strengthen your muscles to be able to handle this kind of training. But also, you still have to have a good understanding of what proper form is. And so for those of you watching those cheat reps... You know, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm throwing my back into it. I'm pulling it back as hard as I can, but I'm still keeping my chest upright. And when I fight that negative and I go forward like this, I'm still trying to keep everything as tight as I possibly can. And there's things happening internally that obviously you guys couldn't know because you're not me, but I'm taking in a breath before each repetition, keep my core nice and tight, and I am really focusing on feeling my back and feeling that engagement on every single one of those negative repetitions. And it was, so getting back to my, my buddy who, he's like over there doing like tricep push downs. And I, I see him like look and like look in the mirror because there was a mirror behind me and he could see he was just like, the hell is this, you know? And I almost feel compelled to like people in my gym, they have no idea, you know, what the hell I'm doing, the majority of them. Uh, but I feel compelled to like explain what I'm doing just so they don't think I'm like just some jackass throwing heavy weights around, which is definitely what it looks like. And so I was explaining to him what I just explained to you guys about how I'm doing cheat and recover and testing this new program. And he, he was really, you know, really big stacked ripped dude. And um, I explained it to him and I saw like a light bulb kind of go off in his head. And he was like, oh, that, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. He's like, I want to try that. And that made me feel good too, because for someone who's already, you know, an advanced lifter in the gym doing their thing, to hear, you know, my theory of why I'm doing what I'm doing and he's seen me grow over the past like month or so and now to kind of explain to him what I've been doing differently and what's been helping me and to have somebody who's already been lifting for a while accept that, you know, basically without even, you know, questioning it because it makes sense just goes to show me why so many of you guys have been making amazing gains and just makes me even more excited to put this program together. And so what I'm going to start doing until the program is ready is I'm going to start basically, you know, doing short videos showing you guys how to properly do cheat and recover on various exercises um, because I do have certain exercises that I've obviously been practicing and, you know, because of my knowledge of proper form and, and how to apply it, I've been able to find a lot of ways to do cheat and recover without a spotter. And that's been the main question from you guys is, how do you do the majority of these movements without a spotter? And there is a way to do it, especially on like, you know, exercises like chest or triceps. There are some exercises where you literally, you can't use momentum. Like you can't expect to overload on a bench press, whether you're doing barbells or dumbbells, without a spotter to come in and bring you back up to the top. And so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys ways to work around that as we progress and get ready for the full release of the program. So just, just a fun story I wanted to share with you guys, you know, and I was getting hate on Instagram and hate on some on Facebook and a little hate in the gym, but you know, I don't mind the hate. Question me, question my methods, be more than happy to give you the answer and then hopefully maybe change your mindset because you know what? If you wanna continuously see progress in the gym, You've got to change things up. I've been seeing amazing progress, and I am more than happy to share that with you guys. So if you're enjoying the content, as always, please hit that like button, show some love, and if you have been doing Cheat and Recover and applying that to your workouts already, I want to know about it. I want to know how you're feeling. I want to know what changes you've seen, whether you're lifting more, whether you're even more motivated to go to the gym because you're lifting heavier weights. That's obviously always more motivational to be able to go to the gym and lift more, right? You always want to go to the gym and try to beat your plateaus. Let me know exactly how you feel and I'll keep the videos coming. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.